While the chicken satay is been marinating, so the next thing now I'm going to prepare and cut the ingredient for peanut sauce, which is the accompaniment for chicken satay. Okay, now I'm going to boil this dry chili in the hot water for about a few minutes until the chili is soft before we can blend together with the rest of the ingredient for the peanut sauce. Okay, now I'm going to cut the fresh turmeric into small pieces. Next will be the shallot, also into small pieces. Then I have garlic. I have galangal. And last, yellow onion. Okay, these are the ingredients need to be cut in smaller pieces before we can blend it together with the dry chili that we are boiling now. As you can see, the dry chili already boiled, so I'm going to off the induction cooker. I'm going to transfer this to the sink here and strain off the water. So only the dry chili that we need. Okay, the next thing, I'm going to blend the ingredient that already cut, the onion. Fresh turmeric, shallot, garlic, le galangal, and lastly, dry chili. Okay, of course, you need some water. As I said earlier, the water is depend on the smoothness and also the texture that you want but basically for paste you need to be fine so I need a little bit more water okay now I'm going to pour out the paste from the blender into the bowl Okay, the next thing I'm going to smash this right using the back opposite direction of the knife. Okay, this is the, the bottom part because bottom part is more thick. Just smash the lemongrass so that the flavor will come out. Okay, the next thing this is the palm sugar or in Malay called gula melaka. It comes in the form of round shape. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chop into smaller pieces. Okay, roughly using the knife, back of the knife to chop it. Anyway, when you cook the salt, it will melt all over. It will dissolve easily. Okay, this is the asam jawa in Malay, or in English we call it tamarind paste. This is actually to give a sourness to the peanut sauce. So, it comes in the pups. Okay, so paste. So, what we're going to do, I add some water. Not too much water, it's going to be very watery. Just a bit estimate. And then I'm going to use my hand, my finger to dissolve the paste you can see it start to dissolve then until the seed left the seed only then after that i'm going to strain over the strainer to remove the seed so the seed i don't need anymore okay use a shift huh? this is a shift to shift and to get the juice tamarind juice only Okay, the next thing now, all the paste is blended already, been blended. So now I'm going to cook this paste by using the Royal Star Tabletop Induction Cooker. First, I press the on off button. I go to preset heating temperature, the level of heating. This temperature, I'm going to use 160. Heating. First, I need to start with the low level, 800. 
Okay. Once the pot is been heated up, I'm going to add in the oil. Okay, heat up the oil for a while. Okay, I'm going to add in the blender paste. Okay, you can hear the sound. And then add in the chili. This is actually the chili paste. You're going to cook until the paste curdle, or in Malay, we call it pizza minyak. This probably will take about half an hour. The next thing I'm going to add in, this is the lemongrass. They already been smashed. Put it into the paste. Okay, after 30 minutes, you can see the paste is already start to curdle already, dry. So the next thing I'm going to add in will be the water. Okay, once the liquid start to boil, the next thing, the following ingredient will be adding in is the asam jawa or tamarind juice. Followed by the palm sugar. Followed by the sugar. And then I have a salt and the most important part of this which is the peanut and okay, now the final ingredient I'm going to add in is coconut milk Okay, finally the satay sauce or peanut sauce is done. So I'm going to off it. That's it. This will be the peanut sauce.